what's up guys so the other day we picked up this beautiful uh triumph daytona 675 we actually drove down to uh tampa to pick this bike up <laughs> maintenance was done it was time to do some fun mods the turn signals both front and rear on this bike uh, were upgraded from the rinky dink units that were on there before the front turn signals we went with uh, proton which is really 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 bright I mean they're so bright that if you look at them for a certain amount of time it'll actually leave you seeing spots for a while uh, the rear turn signals uh, we went with the motor motor mod pods these can be found on our site the next step up was for the headlights. Now we could have easily dropped in an HID or LED kit. However, we wanted to maximize our light output um, and our visibility. Typically the low beams and high beams are separate, which means that when your low beams are on without the high beams being on, only one side is on. I've never really been a fan of seeing one headlight on. So when, it, when we purchased this bike, we decided, okay, let's go ahead and install proper retrofits so that not only we are improving our lighting, but aesthetically it's a lot more pleasing. And then now we have not only dual low beams, but we now have dual high beams as well. I'm gonna go with Hilux Ballast uh, because they, uh, they had the smallest footprint and I'm trying to hide everything as much as possible. I have my Moromoto bulbs. Uh, as you can see, it's gonna be 4,500K, mini H1 projectors. Uh, these are the brackets. So I'm gonna fabricate some brackets to so that the motor motor projectors can fit into the, the motorcycle's factory location. This is a harness. This harness here is a key piece um, to installing HIDs on a motorcycle simply because uh, whenever you start a motorcycle, your lights come on automatically. However, with this harness, it has a, a little delay. So it actually lengthens or extends the life of your HID ballast. And this is a splitter. This way I'm able to I have both of my low beams on and my high beams on. All of the links to the parts that we spoke about are attached in the description below. One thing to note is that these headlights are sealed by Permaseal. So that, uh, keep that in mind because that will make it a little bit more challenging. This video is just going to give you a higher level view of how to take apart the bike to access the headlights and give you a brief description of how the headlights are being split apart. So without further ado, on to the video. I would definitely start by removing these two pins, this pin here and this pin here, right? Start here and here. Now, I don't want to tell you to move the mirrors yet or these two because once you do it, it's going to get real loose and it gets a little challenging to remove. Obviously, you're going to have to take these bolts out here and these bolts here. They have to be removed so that you can pull that front end off. And there's some pins at the side here that have to be removed as well. I'm trying to get my phone in there as much as possible. For the mirrors, you got two nuts right here. These two nuts that you have to remove. And then you got two on this side that you have to remove. And once you remove those nuts um, and these two screws, the, the whole clip is ready to come off. So obviously, when you once you remove <clears throat> all those fasteners you want to make sure that you're ready to catch your nose so that you don't damage the paint
fix this channel so it looks a little bit more even. So we're just gonna heat it up, try to get as much of this permaseal gunk out as possible here. And then as you can see, this got deformed a little bit, so we're gonna go ahead and straighten this back out so it looks a lot more even. So to get this to fit in here, we're going to have to trace out the bracket. As you can see, this bracket goes like this and it sits in here. And this is how you adjust your headlight. It has left, right, up, down, things like that. So we need to transfer these same markings to here. So all we're going to do is trace it out. And once we trace it out, we'll just Dremel around here, including the notches so that we can add these pieces in there and then still be able to adjust the headlight properly. So I got it all uh, drilled out, dremeled out. As you can see, I have the adjuster brackets already mounted here. And I got the holes for our uh, factory shroud. I thought about painting it black, but I just decided to leave it this way. I didn't feel like going through the extra prep work to get it painted. Uh, as you can see, my assistant here to the left is uh, watching me work. All right, so I'll just... Uh, Get this put together and then we can get this headlight done and get the bike put back together and start riding again.